Hello, everybody. <laughs> Got my own ice rink again this morning. I love how that happens. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these life lessons from the ice rink. Um, and so much comes through me when I'm skating. So um, I've had, a, I, like, I make a lot of videos in my head that I don't ever actually end up publishing or even making it in video form. Um, but this morning I was here and um, there, I was looking at, because um, one of the things I've been doing a ton is practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing um, like the basics. And I had this conversation with my coach a while ago where I was like, I'd like to, um, I'd like to take it to the next level. And she was like, what's the next level? <laughs> Like the next level is actually like totally perfecting the basics because when you perfect the basics, you can do so many things. And it's so true. And I like, as I do more complex movements, I always like, I'm really present watching what's going on with the movement. What are my feet doing? What are my hips doing? Like so many different aspects of like what my body is doing. And then um, noticing like, what do I need to break down and practice here? Like, what do I need to refine and, um, and practice and like get a lot better at, you know? And there was a, um, a girl here doing a practicing a routine. And, um, and I see this a lot with like, especially with the younger skaters where they just want to get through the, they, they want to do the cool routine, you know, which I totally do too. This is why I'm doing a lot of this is just because I still can't do on the ice what I do in my head on the ice. Um, it's probably gonna take a while, but that's my like, that's my thing. I'm like, I'm training for the Olympics and my own personal Olympics and I might, that might happen when I'm 90, you know? Um, but um, she just wanted to get, wanted to do the moves. And she, I could tell she like wanted to do them right, but wasn't willing to invest the diligence and the time and the effort into actually getting the basics, you know? And so she was kind of flailing all over the place, getting frustrated. Um, and I was looking at that and like this conversation that we have in access consciousness about being an adult of consciousness. And you could, like, you could look at that from a totally judgmental point of view, which I'm not interested in doing, but, um, but when you're an adult of consciousness, like you do what is required to create what you desire. It's one of the biggest pieces of that is doing, like knowing what's required, you know, like putting on your big girl panties or whatever um, and doing it. Um, and that applies across the board, you know, whether it's ice skating or your business or with, you know, as a parent or something you wanna change with your body or your money situation. Um, you probably know way more than you think you know about what's required um, to change. So, so look at this, what do you know? What would you like to change in your life? Pick one thing. Now, what do you, what do you know that you could choose and is, you, is required for you to do and to choose and to be? I would add that as well, very much so. Um, that you haven't been willing to do be or choose um, and what if you just did it were it chose it you know what if you just went okay i'm having this like i and you're more committed to what you'd like to create than the limitations and the story as to why you can't um and the the lack of like presence that most people in the world function from that doesn't allow them to actually be an adult of consciousness like most people in the world don't function from that space. Um, and again, it's not a judgment, but it's just a sense of like, are you willing to be and do whatever it takes to have what you desire? And if you keep getting frustrated that it hasn't shown up yet, guess what? It's gonna keep not showing up. But if you're like, okay, cool. Cause for me, I'm like with skating, this is like a decades long adventure for me, <laughs> you know? And I could also stop tomorrow. Like that's okay too. But I know that to do what I'd like to do on the ice is going to take me, you know, a lot of practice and I'm, I enjoy it. I enjoy the practice. I enjoy the journey of it. So what if you could enjoy 
the journey of it. Food for thought. <laughs>